Tombstone Tourist, take 38. Oh, yeah, that's really funny. Hey there, I am Scott Stan, the original Tombstone Tourist. How are you doing today? Today we are at Oak Cemetery in Fairfield, Connecticut. Right next to Greenwich, very she-she type of town, lots of money, and a beautiful cemetery to boot. Not only is it a cemetery, but it's an arboretum also. So um, you gotta come here, they have tours for all the foliage and all that great stuff. But here, we're here for a different reason, and that is Hollywood heavyweight super actor, Jason Robards Jr. So let's start at the beginning. Jason Robards Jr. is the son of Jason Robards Sr. And he, Sr., was a silent film uh, actor. Now, he was very successful until the talkies came out. And the minute the talkies came out, like a lot of actors, it didn't translate and he lost almost all of his work overnight. Now this kind of turned Jason Jr. off and he said, I'm not going to get involved with Hollywood. It's a dirty business. Forget that. And he had a lot of options. And the reason he had options was not only was he a scholar, but he was also an athlete at Hollywood High School in Hollywood, California. Now, he was such a good athlete, he ran a four minute 20 second mile, which is around 10 to 15 seconds faster than the state record at the time. And you have to remember, this is before you had Nikes or Adidas or anything like that. You're practically running your street shoes. And he was just an excellent athlete and was offered scholarships to colleges and whatnot, but he chose a different route. It was World War II. He decided to go into the Navy. And he actually had a pretty good career. Towards the end of his stint, in his off time, he would be reading Eugene O'Neill and other Broadway plays, and he got really inspired by that. Then the military asked him to MC some of the events. He loved being on stage. He loved the laughter. Next thing you know, he lands in New York City and he starts with the theater. Then he goes on to television and movies. In fact, he's only one of 26 actors to win Oscar, Tony, and an Emmy. Um, so kind of the trifecta of acting. Now, would you like to see his grave? I know I would. Okay, to find Jason Robard's final resting place, as you come into the cemetery on Cemetery Road, you want to stay to the right, and you want to drive about a quarter mile to Section M, and Section M is right there at Elm Street, and you turn right on Elm Street, you drive about 100 feet, you'll see the simple stairs that come up to this section, and there's Jason three rows off the road. You can easily see him when you drive by. So, back to Jason's acting. So, Jason was married, divorced, and then he got married to Lauren Bacall. Lauren Bacall became single when, wait for it, Humphrey Bogart died. And it was, we all know, Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart were the couple. That was the great love of her life. But she was very, very young, and so she fell in love with uh, Jason. And they were married almost a decade. And the reason they split was because of Jason's drinking. That was a big part of it. And after the split, shortly after, he was in a devastating car crash up in California uh, where he went into the side of the mountain or whatever. And 
devastating auto accident and he had to have facial reconstruction. So if you see some of his film rolls after, you will notice he always has a beard, short cut beard. That was presumably to hide some of the facial scarring. But Jason went on, came sober, preached about it to everybody. He was, you know, his career did not suffer. He came out stronger than ever and his later work was fantastic. One of my favorite roles, all time roles, is Philadelphia with Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington, where he played the evil uh, attorney that had fired Tom Hanks because of AIDS. If you haven't seen the movie, you absolutely have to see it. If you want to see other roles, you want to see other videos and photographs and stories and great stories about him and Bacall, come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com and you will get everything you could ever want, including exact directions and GPS. I'm Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Thank you for joining me here at Oakview Cemetery. You have yourself a great day.